What's going on, guys, and welcome back. Just got off a plane from the Marvel Snap Conquerors event, and, well, Marvel Snap dropped a road ahead looking into what's coming to Snap for the months ahead. Now, I did host the event with Dexter, so I thought, why not just bring the guy back on to go over the road ahead with me? As you can see, the development roadmap here has a coming soon section in development and then in concept. Of course, coming soon is just about to launch in development. They've got people working on it and in concept. Well, it's 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 in concept. We've got ourselves the new roadmap again. We've got all the different sections here and we're going to start with PC launch. Now, this is obviously they might as well have made this. I feel like they should make things bold and big and, and, and importance level, right? Uh, uh, PC launch. This is huge. I, uh, I've been waiting for this for a really long time. I mean, come from Hearthstone, you know, it's, I guess it's a mobile game as well, but it has widescreen. So it's, it's a big difference. People have to, you know, break up the, the mobile game pretty much and just make a makeshift UI. And I don't know, hopefully this looks great. I'm, I'm pretty hyped for it. Ben made it sound good. So I think it could be a game changer. Now, typically with Marvel Snap, even the game launch, they launch something and then they kind of build upon it. Uh, we've seen that yeah. before, like time and time again. And PC launch, uh, Ben broke though in the, in the interview that we did have. He said it's going to be, you know, huge and that, you know, stretching every way bigger as oh, Ben put it. Yeah, 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 I think he did the poll. Yeah. Uh, latest build of our PC version uh, just the other day. And it looks absolutely ridiculous. It is going to yes. be, I think people are going to be pretty stunned by our native PC. Um, yeah. Now, I, the, the words that jump out to me, uh, because I, you know, what's funny, man, is I just kept thinking about the game and the actual, uh, battles, which is obviously going to be uh, really good, but it's the, it, from everything from the collection manager to, to the main menu, uh, that's fine. But the, like the collection manager, I, low key, I think this is like one of the cooler parts. Yeah. And then also you have to go on your phone to like collect rewards or like have that inbox. Yeah. So that'll be nice to not have to do every time. Cause I don't, I don't play on my phone too often anymore. Kind of like a second game launch in a way. I'm sure we should see a good marketing push from the game. So hopefully a lot of new players, uh, it, but also just uh, it's going to feel fresh, man. I, I'm excited. I think this is going to be probably the biggest thing that has happened for Snap in regards to the game itself and it just reach. Yeah, I think since launch. Well, launch was big, friendly battles are big, conquest, and then this is also massive. So And it says more details coming very soon. Very soon. So I'm wondering you know, for me policies. that that's to, to me that sounds like it's gonna come in the dev update video. Like they're gonna we're gonna get our first sprinkle of teas on it. Oh, that'd be nice. That's coming soon. Yeah, is it what's like a week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's what I would yeah. expect. I don't know what else that would mean if not, right. but it, maybe we just get it on a random patch. Either way, I expect it when they usually have things in this section. Typically, it comes within the month or within, uh, I would think the latest we would get this is what, like maybe September, maybe the year anniversary, I guess, but probably sooner than that. The sooner the better, really. Yeah, absolutely. Now, next up, we've got seasonal audio. Now, I will start with this. I don't know who does the music or the sound at Snap. But they don't miss. I, I I truly mean it. They they all their music is good. Yeah, to be honest, I don't really play with music on because I play my own music in the back. But when I have played with music, it's it's nice, isn't it? Like it's like dynamic. It changes as you're playing. I uh, I cut the music because when I'm editing YouTube videos, it's yeah. it's a little awkward if it's like jumping. But I might have to start bringing it back with seasonal wait. music well here's the deal though so i was i actually didn't hear the conquest music for a long time and then i was like wait like the, the oh, game yeah. it's pretty cool it's yeah. got, it, it's it's uh it's it's a nice little beat however then i kind of got a little bit sad now i hope this is the beginning of something new because there's a big word here man we'll be changing our in-game menu music to match the vibe of each new season in-game menu sounds like it's the only music changing I think, uh, oh yeah, that's interesting. That's a good point. But uh, they they changed the Guardians music, I think, right? Didn't they give it like a a different flair to it? Am I tripping? I feel like okay. we thought they did, but maybe they didn't. Maybe I'm wrong. Put put it in the comments below. Either way, this is a good change, man. If they could bring that and then have like a battle mix, uh, even like in yeah. the in the you can have the main mix. But then you kind of just sneak in like a Loki flair, you know, whatever, it, depending on the season. Loki music? Just play the, I don't know what Loki music is. You haven't seen the show. Uh, by the way, in the I comments, think. tell Dexter to go see uh, Loki season I, one. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably watch it eventually. I should watch it before season two anyway. I think this is definitely something they need to do uh, because it's funny. <laughs> 
I mean, we saw it at the event. Audio is very important. Uh, you can have the best visuals, but if you're talking through a walkie-talkie, it doesn't, uh, it, it isn't good. So getting more audio to the game a year in, it's nice to see. Card upgrade improvements. And really, all I'm seeing here is um, something that probably deserved less of a paragraph than than, than this other one. The multi-upgrade is, is is nice. I You know, I kind of like upgrading my cards, uh, but I, I, yeah. I think it's a first world problem, really. Multi-upgrade. I, I don't care, and I probably upgrade cards more than anyone, really. But it's like, I don't know. I, I don't mind it. I wish they spent more time on other things, but I mean, it's a nice... It's a nice thing to have. Saves just seven. Uh, I feel like that could have just snuck into like a, a small quality upgrade, you know, QOL. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it is going to be uh, coming upgrade with gold. Um, Anything monetization wise. Yay, money for snap. I, as long as it's visual, I'm good with it. Yeah, because it's cosmetic. I'm okay with it. I think I haven't fully processed this one because like usually when you see someone with a nice Deadpool, you're like, wow, they play a lot of Deadpool, you know, but now they can kind of just buy it. Yeah, it, yeah, I'm really curious to see. There's no way. I kind of feel like they have to have... There's got to be a limit here. The, the, or else, I mean, first of all, the little three cards, no one buys those anyway in the shop. Those are going to be gone then, I would expect. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see this. Maybe these replace that? Or cap it off like you can get to the next... I don't know. We're out to see. But e either way, again, they can s slip in a couple things to get more money visually. Uh, yay. Uh, second dinner. Conquest Polish is yeah, our yeah, next conquest. one and i feel great about this but also being honest feel like they missed a couple things it says that they are going to be working on improved loss flow speeding up tap to skip animations updated mute behavior and ui ux improvements dexter thoughts uh i wish there was just an auto mute but i mean the updated mute is really nice a lot of people like bm me they'll use kamala thumbs up like like you always do and um you know Every single round you get into, you have to remute them, which is an absolute pain in the ass. So, uh, you know, it'd be nice to not have to do that. Uh, speeding up, tap to skip. I, I don't know how that really works on both players' perspectives. Maybe it just gives you more time to take your turn. Uh, improved loss flow. Everyone complains about losing twice, so that's nice. And uh, UI UX, we don't really know. That's pretty vague. Conquest, I think, is a very good mode. I think they did not miss. I think the game mode is a lot of fun. If it comes to polish... What I would have liked to see slipped in here, especially because it's like a, it's a section, is uh, number one, just a little tweak to the reward shop. Oh, yeah, that's true. They, it'd be nice for them to touch. Uh, especially because what it looks like is they're wanting, uh, uh, it, it, we'll see in a second here, but they're, they're, they're going to be giving you even more ways to play more in Conquest. So it's like if, if they're encouraging that, awesome. But also you got to give more rewards. And if they're letting you get the boosters with that, but now you can buy the boost. I just think they should... It's close, but give, give 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 us more. Yeah, they feel more expensive now too, right? So yeah. Either way, I think uh, good improvements here. All these are gonna make it feel a little bit better. Uh, get the reward shop good to go, and maybe make some type of seasonal thing with the infinity conquest. Some something in there, uh, because once you have fifty infinity borders, I think at that point, like, uh, yeah, you go go team. Um, but yeah, this is good. Uh, this is this is nice to see. Now, lastly, let's just quickly touch on global matchmaking. Uh, you, th this is big, right? Obviously, uh, bots are in the ladder, and I think this is going to help a ton with just getting different players and just uh, maybe queue times and not getting as many bots can make things more competitive. And it, this is bigger than I think most people think. You're not going to notice it right away, but this will have an impactful change in uh, just about everywhere, right? So good stuff here. We move to our next section, Dexter, in development. This is stuff that uh, they do have people actively starting to work on. Um, we've seen things kind of slip down in this section sometimes when they don't see maybe maybe uh, uh, players' feedback can can take a part in this. Like Smart Dex has been there for uh, what I'm assuming is going to be a full year. Yeah. Was that in uh, in development last time or was that in, in concept last time? I'm pretty sure Smart Dex was in development in a December. I could be wrong. I'll find it and throw it up, but I'm pretty sure this has been in, in development uh, for quite some time here. Uh, yeah, we got Prestige level. I saw this a second ago. If you scroll down, Prestige could be kind of cool. Sounds like it's going to be another rewards track sort of thing. Not a season pass, not a collection level. So it might be a little confusing. <laughs> They're going to add another one. Nine but, levels uh, over here. Yeah, I we're going to... <laughs> you used to play a lot of Call of Duty. You'd, you'd prestige, right? Yeah, so... 
Okay, when I first read this though, I got like super hyped because I thought it was like a ladder prestige. So like, I don't know how that was going to work into play, but I was like, wait, can you get up to 100 and reset? And then there's like, you, you kind of get ranked prestige at that point, right? And get more yeah. rewards because it kind of stops after 100. Incre you know, maybe increases more play for ladder. Uh, but this is the way they phrase it. So if you get a pixel variant, you can turn it into a re reward. So I guess like, does that mean if you get like a pixel forge, like I don't want them. And then you can just like blip them into the into a new like what how does this how are you reading this i feel like i this this doesn't tell me anything about it. i feel like i don't really know anything it's 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 very vague i have no idea what to expect for prestige level aside from that it seems like it's going to be another reward track how do you how do you juice it up only with you you, you maybe it's like a, a dust thing maybe like dust. Yeah, so long as they hey listen uh, if we get more stuff, like, uh, I'm here for it. It says, we will keep building on proceed level into future with albums that drip bone. Dude, this whole paragraph, I have, I have no idea what this means, but I think I'm excited. I, it sounds like it could be cool, but it's also yeah, confusing. Spotlight cash improvements. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. Uh, it, so basically, I think by reading this, they're, um, they're going to be giving everyone the same amount of tokens, but also you sometimes get a gold conquest ticket. I was complaining about it because we kind of knew about these beforehand. Not these, but like the spotlight caches. And I was like, don't give anyone just 50 tokens. That feels awful. I'd rather every other one, instead of giving them 50, every other, you give them 100. Because it, it feels bad to get 50. It just feels like such a small... We used to get like 400 each one, 600 sometimes. And now you get 50? Yeah, it's like getting so, a it's like getting a tax refund. And it's like you get $2.87. You're like, you almost just kind of... It's like, just keep it. At this point, uh, listen, just keep yeah. it. I... I uh, the the hundred the hundred tokens needs to come. The gold conquest ticket is what I was referring to. This is going to give you more ways to play conquest more often, which is great. But I would like to see them maybe juice up the rewards uh, just a wee bit. Uh, now, in addition to the uh, economy tuning, it looks like there's some UI stuff. This is good, dude. I don't know about you, but I, I I've been I click to scroll on my collection track, and sometimes I get uh, I get damn close to opening one. Yeah, I've heard a lot of horror stories about that happening to people. So I'm glad that now it's going to be hold to open. Um, that'll be good. And they'll make it, I guess, a better icon. So you know the difference for maybe like new players who don't really understand it. They're going to change the S4, S5 icon because I think it's a little bit uh, indistinguishable. If you're looking at the, the set of things at the top, you can't really tell what the two cards overlaid. There's like a blue one and a pink one or purple, whatever. Um, so I think this is good. Just some quality of life stuff. And lastly, we have Ultimate Variant Evolution. Uh, bro, <laughs> gonna say, here's the deal about this one. Me and you, I know, we're, we're through the roof excited. I, I think we have like a, a good chunk of Ultimate Variants. Right now, it, it's a no-brainer for no one. No one need, wants to buy, no one should be buying these at the moment. But now they're going to be uh, a little bit more sizzle if you've bought one in the past or yeah. to, to have you buy one now. Well, this is huge whale bait. I mean, there's not a lot of people get the ultimate variants. You and I do because we spend a lot of money on the game. But I think most people aren't going to have these. And it's better to get cards than ultimate variants. A lot of people are like, oh, should I get Jeff or should I get an ultimate Thanos? I'm like, please just get, get Jeff. But yeah. for us... It's sick, and we've already bought so many ultimate variants, so them going back and making those better, it's nice. So this is fantastic for the whales. It's huge whale bait. Um, but that, I feel like that, that's pretty much it. This doesn't apply to too many players. Yeah, 100%. The only reason I would buy an ultimate if I was a, just a, playing it, there are some people I know, I have, like, I have a buddy who like only plays Destroy, right? So if he only plays Destroy and Venom's there, and he knows he's only going to use that card a million times, then yeah, cool, go for it, awesome, but you are, you know, spending what you would on uh, 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 plenty of new cards. So uh, exciting to see that in some ways. It's going to make the board cool too at times. Like even seeing the effects will be fun. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm excited. It's, it's a nice touch. Now, lastly, we have In Concept. Now, in my opinion, I'm pretty sure this stuff hasn't been touched really, but this is, again, they've got big dreams for Marvel Snap. Big dreams dreams now this is the fun stuff yeah. to talk about here we've got guilds and clans let's start there actually guilds and clans a social <laughs> system in marvel snap yeah this has been uh on the docket for a while i think um i'm not 
sure how necessary this is. It's a bit weird. I, I, I don't really think of this as like, like what are we going to go raiding? Like, you know, I, I don't think this is much of like an RPG where you need guilds. The... <laughs> A friend system, though, is cool. Like, I would love to be able to see, like, uh, Snapsters online, and I can see, like, playing ladder, and I can see rank 98, uh, probably, like, more like 76, uh, but, like, rank 98, right, and it says, like, I don't know, climbed seven ranks today. Is it something like that? Just something small and simple is kind of cool. Yeah, I think that'd be cool, seeing their online, being able to friendly battle them or something. Uh, Go through the collection? Nice touch. Look at their variants? Yeah, 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 like uh, some sort of stats on them, how many uh, infinity completions they've had. Favorite like decks? That. Uh, do they, they, honestly, actually, the more I talk about it, if they build some of these small things into it, it could kind of be cool. Yeah, but I think this is like way down the line, maybe like 2024, 20, 2025. Uh, yeah, all this um, stuff I think is pretty uh, down the line. Mythic variants, yeah. uh, yay! Uh, what's better than yeah. five thousand tokens? Are these gonna be thirty thousand tokens? That's what I was like. What are, what are they gonna? Are they gonna make ultimates cheaper? Because ultimates are already so expensive and a waste of money for most people. Now they're gonna add mythics. This maybe there's a maybe you buy them with 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 boosters and spend five hundred boosters. This is how they make mythic variants slap. They have it have a one uh, originally how they introduced big bads have a 1% chance to just randomly open these. And then it doesn't matter as much because it's not a card that impacts, right? And all of a sudden you just get this like vision that nobody has. That would be cool. Like straight up RNG. RNG visuals, but like straight up, like you feel like you get a holographic, right? Essentially. Ooh, or like every time you complete an infinity conquest, you have a 1% chance of- Dude, that'd be so sick. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm not gonna lie, like if I got like, but then I, here I'm calling it now, right? It's like a one percent chance, and then it's like you get this like glorious animation. I get this Watu that's like on fire or something. I'm like, it's Watu, but he's on fire. So it's totally cool. I would be playing him yeah. in every deck at that point. I feel like it's like uh, you, you have to. Um, right. lastly, we've got new game mode, guys. New game mode. They said literally nothing in this section uh, that is of use. Dexter, this needs to be this. This has to be one of two things draft i yeah. mean i think most people want draft they're starting with the most fun and working backwards maybe they think that's not draft so <laughs> i don't know but i i would love draft a lot of people want it but maybe it's just for a small audience i don't know draft game mode i think would be fantastic dude even in the wheel snap with ben Brod, i was like wow isn't playing with random cards fantastically fun this is so crazy and i was like this would be a great game mode you should do it he didn't move I don't even think he said anything. <laughs> I think he was like, wow, look at that play. The other game mode that I think would be kind of cool is a 2v2 in this spot. Damn. Yeah. A 2v2. Yeah, I agree. Five locations. Best of three. You have widescreen now, so it can support it. You turn this phone to the side. The, the cards are pretty small, but... But yeah, I think a 2v2 would be fantastic. That would be probably bigger for the general public, I would feel like. But the draft mode is probably what everybody wants uh, as far as like the hardcores. Yeah, but 2v2 would be great. Then you start trying to get your friends to play and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. Now, overall, yeah. here's the thing. Nothing like maybe too like crazy other than uh, PC is coming. That's really good. And also, like, they don't have to do these. So it's cool that we at least get like a little bit of a glimpse into what is coming. And keep in mind, they'll release these. And then I'm telling you, we've seen these change dr like drastically even a month later. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is all gonna be different. You didn't you didn't talk about PC controller support. Whoa, right? where was that? Deal. Where 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 was that? Okay, controller. Use, use this to play it? It makes sense. It feel pretty good. A little haptic feedback or something. Uh I can't imagine having a little hand moving cards. I can't I can't imagine like you know what I mean? Like I like I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you really need it, but that's why it's just in concept. Maybe it's just uh, it was looking lonely over there in the in concept, so they threw it up. Yeah, that, you know, hey, it. Uh, all I know is uh, maybe Xbox Game Pass, maybe PC Play Store. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, open up the audience even more. I think they're like leveling up, right? You go to PC launch, then you go to console, and then the world. That, that, that'd be great i think that'd be good why wouldn't they do that console a lot of people still play consoles a lot of people yeah yeah the fortniters now the, the uh, switch it'd be good on switch dude actually this game would be slapped with the joy cons that would be sick yeah. with like the, the yeah actually yeah. honestly great uh that's a great idea we should take that yeah. to uh nintendo uh listen guys we get these once every three months or so obviously pc launch is going to be uh colossally massive and then it looks like they're trying to tweak up all the other game modes for uh, uh the rest of uh what I would assume a lot of new players coming into uh, the PC launch. 
yeah yeah i'm excited mostly for pc launch and twitch drops we didn't really go over that but that brings a lot of audience over to the game so that's a huge thing luckily you'll start streaming soon i will i mean it started with the conquerors events and it's gonna be happening in a couple of weeks uh, maybe we, we can't announce it yet but we got something up the sleeve dexter and i so guys hopefully you enjoyed uh the conquerors event dex thanks for joining me today and guys we got some cool stuff coming up we have otas tomorrow we're gonna have to see what uh lies in store as far as balance goes and uh thanks for coming in for an impromptu video guys thanks for coming by as always and until the next one happy snapping <laughs> ah.